Hello and welcome here everyone to the Atlanta Motor Speedway for round number four of the Core Xfinity series uh, mock season two as we're back at Atlanta what used to be the finale is now a race here pretty early on in mock season steam waters again will start on the pole and um, to the outside will be the 21 of Chris Main let's get you down there to track side for the command for today's race Have been fired up drivers rolling off the grid down there on pit road so far so good doesn't look like anyone had any issues here so the Atlanta Motor Speedway you know is uh, one of the uh, fastest tracks here um, on the schedule last season we had um, Brian Fields winning the championship he won here he's not in the field this time around though so you won't be um, here to try and um, get that win again. Chris Main, Daytona winner, he starts on the outside. It's, it's a Chevy front row. Behind them, Luke Martin and uh, Christian Russell side by side. Luke Martin's teammate right there behind him. That's Michael Brown in the 16. It was really fast in practice. Um, there's Fisher, hometown hero in the 9. To his inside is the 2. Um, of Connor Monaco, there's Max Anderson right there in the 29. Jacob Holtz in the 38, I believe, running out your top 10. And you can see the guys will be starting in the back here today. So here we go. Pace car is down pit road. Steven Waters in the 8 is looking for uh, better results from Talladega here. As he's going to lead us green, to green. green, green. And we're racing here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Waters to the race lead, tried to block new, uh, Luke Martin. Martin had a really good start right there. To the inside now already for the race lead. Christian Russell in the 41 to the middle. I think he was trying to go to the inside right there, but the two is there. As Luke Martin's going to get put three wide by his teammate, Michael Brown in the 16. And out of four, lap one is going to... Oh, caution. Wreck over in turn four. Here, Big crash out. over in turn four. Oh, Fisher contact right there with the two of Connor Monaco. And looks like they're going to be all right, but big wreck over there in corner four. Saw it going down from where I am. Oh, there's 59. Shavis uh, Mitchell, heavy damage. Sam Oskin in a five. Heavy rear end damage to four also. Winnie Kaloon collected. And I'm going to go back and see what happened here. A couple cars I saw got up into the outside wall. Oh, Carter Joey just looked like he just dumped Sam and Austin right there. Sent Austin way up into the outside wall and collected Christian Vargas in the 78. And I'm telling you, these Fords and Roush is just, they're not making any friends whatsoever. Look at this. Just flat out just sent him and then gets collected as well. I'm not sure what that was about 18 of um just snap by collected allison rain see the 59 right there georgio sutomu i believe he got caught up in it just a little bit four also went around but i'm not sure what that deal was between the 90 and seven oscar really carter joey just sent him he just straight up dumped him right there and then collects himself and others as well and nola is not going to take too kindly to that these rashes just got to get their crap together Right on board here with Carter Joey. Yeah, he just sailed it in there and got into Sam and Oscar and dumped them. I've never seen that. Or at least not not done that way here. Riding on board with Allison Rain. Oh, yeah, nowhere to go right there. Sam and Austin. He's not going to be happy right there. But Luke Martin leads over his teammate, Marco Brown, here at Atlanta. And take a quick break. We'll be back. Welcome back here to the Atlanta Motor Speedway as we're getting set to go back green. Georgia Satoma just went down pit road to service his car. He's coming back out on the track now, but they are not going to be up the pace at all. Luke Martin leads over teammate, Marco Brown, followed by Stephen Waters, Christian Russell, and Chris Main. That is your top five. Fisher, Monaco, um, and Max Anderson. 
is also there along with Nath Norman, or actually that's the uh, 17 of Michael DeClan. And then the one car of Cooper Mack is Martin Lee's right now. Christian Russell to the inside of Steven Waters. Michael Brown to the inside of that six. Michael Brown, like I said, was real fast during practice. I believe he was in the top five in practice. Luke Martin, of course, being the fastest car in practice. He's probably right there on the outside as the 16 comes around to lead. Here comes Christian Russell now down to the inside. Russell was another guy who was really quick in practice. It's Fisher, hometown hero in that nine. As we go on board with Fisher. He's probably watching those guys ahead. Just hoping somebody makes a mistake and then takes advantage of that and they're racing real close together right here as they go three wide for second led by Christian Russell who comes and leads it at the line right there and there's Giorgio Sutoma I believe that is ahead of them as they're catching him rather quickly here as now here comes the two Connor Monaco looking for his first win and there's the 88 of Giorgio Sutoma extremely slow oh they're gonna catch him really quick here going down in the corner holds up Steven Waters Along with the 21, the 38, and all those guys are going to get held up and everyone else gets away. Now they're going to clear him and nowhere to go for Giorgio Sutomo nearly getting into the 21. These guys trying to maneuver their way around him. Nathan Norman gets by the 17 of the clan. He's going to get held up along with the 27 of David Byers. The 10 of uh, Joseph Sawyer also getting held up, but right now these three got or these um six guys are gonna get away and they're three wide or three wide for third two wide for second battle for the race lead and i'm also gonna try all he can to catch these guys up here oh man not a good corner for the 16. had a check up right there fisher's gonna go right by on the outside as the field is pretty much split up now so we're about at the halfway mark Will we have to deal with more lappers? Will we get a yellow? As side by side, Fisher leads right there over Luke Martin. Monica once again attempting that inside, but he just cannot seem to get it to stick. Fisher Russell with it running through the middle. He's going to have a little bit of drafting help right there with Luke Martin, so that's going to maybe allow him to clear the two. Back here, these guys trying to, they're prob probably hoping for a yellow now. Oh man, Luke Martin sideways out of four right there. He leads it at the line again. There's these six guys battling it. Pretty rough with each other here. Is they all over each other's back bumper? Fisher, Martin, Russell, uh, Brown, Monaco, and Alexander or uh, Max Anderson. All battling. Out of four, they're able to stick with each other. No lap car so far inside. Three wide now for the race lead. Fisher down to the inside. Can he make it stick? He cannot. Russell, that middle line is really what works here at Atlanta. As you see the great run Christian Russell has out of the corner. And he's going to clear Fisher. Fisher battling it back to the inside. Fisher... Ran really well here in the truck series. Could have won. He made it four wide, I believe, down to the inside. Four or five wide to the inside. But out of four, he got sideways and checked up and couldn't really complete the pass. Two inside. Two on board with Lou Martin. One inside. No hole, no hole. These guys all able to stick with each other here. One, one. They come to the line. It'll be five laps to go here at Atlanta. A six-car battle for this race win. There's still time if they get a yellow. Because I know those guys in the back, are, they really want a yellow. They might catch that 88 again as he's going down in the three and four now. As they're going down the back stretch, going down into four now. All the guys back here who got held up. Or guys who were collected in that first incident really slow. This little group here led by Casey Nanako. David Byers makes it three wide on the 33 of Austin Nash. 17 to clan to the outside. These guys have they're having a really good battle here as well. Like it's for the race lead. These guys racing each other real hard back there. 
Evans, uh, Bristol winner, being uh, battling with Kevin Bell. But up here, it's just these guys. There's the 88 again. And it looks like two of the six cars, the, the two and the 29, they're kind of losing touch with these four guys right here who's just really quick right now. They're actually, they're battling, but they're still pulling away from those other guys. Fisher trying to clear Russell before they catch Georgia Sutomo once again. There'll be two laps to go when they come to the line. Slow on the bottom. Three wide now is the 16 of Michael Brown. He's going to take advantage of this. He's gonna, oh man, he forces Fisher up and Fisher's gonna get held up just a little bit. Now Russell gets held up by the, the 88. Clear. Two laps to go, two laps to go. Two laps to go here at Atlanta. Sutomu quickly gets out of the way, Russell to the inside. That's near a lot of 2 and 29 to catch back up. There's a 38 and the 8. I don't think they're gonna have any time to catch these guys with a lap and a half to go. Michael Brown looking for his first win here. And he's hoping those guys stay side by side behind them. But I don't even think that matters. These guys are so quick. Martin Fisher. Fisher with a run on the outside. A little bit of draft. White flag. One lap to go here at Atlanta. That's 16. Michael Brown. He's blocking both lanes. Will he help his teammate Luke Martin who drives it in the corner? The 16 did not have a good run in one and two. That's where the 16 has been real faulty. Luke Martin takes the lead from his teammate in on the final lap. Into the corner, Fisher to the inside. Martin slides up a little bit and out of corner number four. Side by side at the line, too close to call. Another really close finish here at Atlanta. As we await to see who this one goes to. Was it Martin? No, Fisher. It was Fisher. He gets it. Amazing. What a finish. Another close finish here at Atlanta. Luke Martin so close to that first win, but it's the hometown driver, Framian Fisher, capturing the win by merely an offender. Look at this. Fisher got a real good run on the inside out of four. Martin, he slid up just a little bit. I guess he was expecting his teammate to get a run on that middle and outside line because that's really the corner. Oh, that's where you're good when you come out of the corner, the outside and the middle line. They usually get a real good run, but Fisher was able to make it stick and gets the win. Christian Vargas, Samanowski, Willie Kalun, and Mitchell with a valve, valve issue. Sutomo, of course, was two laps down, and man, Carter Joey has got some explaining to do right there to Sam and Oscar and others. But Raymond Fisher gets his first career core Xfinity Series win and is going to, what a place to do it at. Atlanta Motor Speedway here. The crowd is going wild right there for Fisher, but racing, what a win right there. No winning, of course, never something that's easy to do. Um, near the end right there, Russell got, Russell and all them other guys, they got held up by Giorgio Sutomu. And then everyone else was able to pull away and just battle for a couple of laps. And Fisher over Lou Martin. Michael Brown, he nearly got it. So close for him, but he's going to have to try again. That's going to be it here from the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Thank you guys for watching. Um, next race for the X or Core Xfinity Series mock season, if I can get it in. Is going to be um, out there at, uh, I believe, Watkins Glen. Yeah, Watkins Glen is going to be the next race. So that's going to be he uh, it here from Atlanta. Congratulations to Ramey Fisher on the win. We'll see you at the Glen.